It's a day after the bomb explosion and reality is beginning to set in. At the Plateau State Specialist Hospital, doctors were seen battling to save the lives of those in critical condition. One woman told us how she survived the suicide bombing. It was about parking yesterday night. So after parking, I, tell my, I told my little son, let's just buy gari so that when we get home, we'll get something to eat. So in the process of buying the gari, the man was about measuring it. What I had when the first one exploded, I didn't know where I threw it. I was shouting for the boy, Victor, where are you? He said, Mommy, I'm with you. The boy sat by my side. I said, okay, let's leave, let's run home on our way. Going back home, reaching to Mr. Biggs, where we normally take Keke. The second one sounded. Elsewhere at the scene, security agencies have condoned off the scene of the blast, crippling the activities at the central business area of the city. Eyewitnesses recount to STV News what they saw. 6.30 p.m. I'm in my shop. Then I just I hear bomb blast, part, the first one. Then after three minutes to four minutes, I hear the second one. I try to call my vigilante for this area. You come, then you try to carry people inside with by no vehicle. So I didn't know, I didn't know, I didn't know. I was confused. Immediately we had this thing, we rushed in and there are eyewitnesses who they say they saw an ageable man, the age of 45 years old. Mm. He was running, shouting, bomb, bomb, bomb. Unknown to the people that he is a suicide bomber, on his body he was stripped with a bomb. So before people will come, he unzip his jacket, then the bomb blasted with him. Emergency officials say the death toll could rise. Do you have enough supplies, medical supplies, to attend to this right now? Well, that, is, uh, that question is meant for the, the chief medical director of the hospital. But we, as coordinating agency, we give little to assistance we can in terms of logistics and to ensure that everything is going on uh, properly. So we are coordinating the activities of all the various departments. The state government have condemned the attack while business activities is gradually picking up. In Joss, Samson, Omale, STV News.